What's up, y'all? It's your boy FB Aftermath. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So, for everybody, you know, my normals and, you know, to try to build the crowd that I'm kind of looking for um, right now in today's time, I am starting a from games to games, games to games series right now, workout series from the basic to advanced intermediate and beyond um, we will be going over you know from full body routines to bodybuilding routines to athletic routines and giving you a combination of you know just different different training methods so you can find out what type of person you want to be in the fitness community or you know just for yourself when it, whatever comes to your health health goals uh, fitness goals you know your body composition internal health which is very important movement and I understand, you know, some people have their their preference, you know. So that being said, today we will begin that. And what better way to start that than to train? All right, this is like a, this is bodybuilding week for me. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, I'll, I might do some advanced stuff, but I'm gonna put you through this week of training. Um, I have my last video, which is the chest training, you know, method that I use, the 15, 10, 5. And then this week, you know, and it's all dumbbells this whole week. So dumbbells only starting out. We want to work on that unilateral strength. We want to work on building strength on both sides of the body, making sure everything's equal for less, you know, internal muscular bone um, imbalances and things. So let's get to it. Of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. California! So like I said, everything 15, two sets, 10, 10 reps, two sets, five reps, two sets. As you go up, as you go down in numbers, you go up in weight. I just get a little extra reps in because that was kind of light. So right now we're doing cable rows. As you see, I have different handset of uh, cable movements when it comes to the, bro, what, what am I talking about right now? So as you can see, two different um, handles for the row. Therefore, I get full range of motion on both sides. You get more of that unilateral movement strength. If I wanted to work on more range of motion, get a stretch, and then come back and get a better squeeze, I would do it like this. Also, there's more core work coming into play when you do it like this, because now you're having to have the weight on this side. And when you have something that's just unleveled, then the abs come into play, right? So more work's done here. And also you're probably able to lift more weight doing it this way rather than doing both. For this video, I'm doing both because doing one hand at a time is very time consuming. And uh, yeah. What's crazy about these workouts that you'll see is doing the 15, 10, 5 uh, set scheme. It's time consuming in a certain way, not really, but you don't have to do much. There are a lot of people, especially in the beginner and the basics of exercising, you guys do way too many exercises for one muscle, right? You should, for, if you're starting out, you shouldn't be doing like six exercises, six, seven, eight, nine, ten exercises for one muscle and on the same day, right? Like 10 exercises for that one muscle should be within that week span, not in a full one day. So you need to calm that, all that down, okay? Be a little bit more basic. Start out with understanding lifting, understanding connection, muscle-mind connection. And when I mean by muscle-mind connection, you'll see like the bodybuilders and stuff talk about it um, that are, you know, more experienced because obviously the muscles are a lot bigger. It's about when you do a movement, there's a difference between going through a movement and actually feeling what that movement does. And we wanna understand what that movement does. We wanna go through it, pull, okay, I'm feeling the lats come in. You know, I'm feeling a little bit of the traps, that rear delt, and then, you, you know, squeezing it into the lats. How can I feel that more? All right, let me bend a little bit, squeeze that lat a little bit more. You just understand what areas 
you feel you know certain things you want to work on more. So we got two sets 15. Now we got two sets of 10. Alpha clothing every day, all day. Also S Force watches. You can use code Aftermath on both. Alpha clothing 15% off, 10% off. I think S Force watches. Cop this bad boy. This is the blood, carbon and red, right there. Durable as fuck. You can throw these at people. Don't do that. You throw it from stories away, and they won't break. Durable like me, like the Durango. So what's gonna happen right now is for the last five, I am gonna go single arm because I wanna get a little bit heavier and try to balance out that heavy weight going double. Uh, it's a little crazy for me just cause I go so heavy. So we got 225, I'm gonna do 225 for five reps each arm for two sets. go up in more weight. So now we did horizontal, we're gonna go vertical. We're going working on the vertical movement of the lats, which helps with expansion. So what we did before, it helps with black thickness, building thickness from, you know, the chest looking back, a good sideways look. Now we're working on a straightforward back look, working on that wing expansion when it comes to overhead movements in the lats, building that outer thickness. So same thing, 15 reps, two sets. 10 reps, two sets, five reps, two sets. And um, again, we're working on these single movements. As you can see, I can do each arm on a different um, platform, whatever. And um, it's working on that strength for both sides, which is a very good start. If you were to start out on barbells first, I mean on dumbbells first, and then go to barbells, you know, getting into the barbell, you have more stability work. Therefore, you have more control over the movement rather than a barbell going to dumbbell work or you know unilateral stuff. So that's why we're gonna tackle this stuff first for you guys um, so you can, when, when we get to the real crazy barbell work, you guys can handle it pretty good. So let's get to it. heavier. We're gonna do one arm at a time instead of both.
Ah, one more set. Probably use more, more length. But got some dead stops going. Got some rows right here. The only difference in these is the dead stop. So we're having to recover, reset for each rep. A little bit more time consuming, but definitely good when it comes to strength for rowing. And it's kind of taxing, unexpectedly taxing. a little bit more height. want to make sure these elbows like you know even me right now in the mirror I'm making sure my elbows breaks around where my back is so I have that's my boom that's my range of motion boom boom not right here you want full boom this is like as much as I can go right now because that's how like, tight I am and shit we got last set as we go up and wait same thing doing one side at a time getting the base because 90 pounds is going to be pretty heavy. Oh, I couldn't get that last one. Pretty heavy, like I said, single arm is tough, especially 90 pounds. All right, y'all, I'm in my freezer gear, trying to get my final form. Hope you guys enjoy, hope you guys will enjoy this series. Make sure you like and subscribe. I will appreciate the support. If you do so, it means a lot, it helps the channel out. Um, so that being said, do so, like and subscribe. More videos to come. Uh, I wanna continue on with this because I wanna build and you know do my fitness and build on that while still trying to grow my gaming side of the brand so follow me at twitch.tv slash fb aftermath live streams apex legends more to combat uh just pretty much a lot of stuff man i just enjoy gaming and uh i would like for you guys to show up and also if you have questions about this video and you know come to my live streams you know ask me questions on my live streams i'm not just there for gaming you know i'm there to answer questions about fitness and stuff as well so if you are like you know interaction with me uh definitely come there that's the spot to be much love catch you guys later frieza out of course my life matters to me but not just mine everyone's don't fear failure it's all as true today as when you were 12. handle that business